So this video is going to show you how to use PDF Escape to delete some pages and also how to fill out a form online. So go ahead and you want to just go to pdfescape.com and then click on free online. I don't like to create accounts and if I'm working with students that's even not a safe thing to do. So I'm just going to go to free online. And then I'm going to upload a PDF to PDF Escape. I could actually create a PDF from scratch here if I wanted. But I'm going to upload. I have to go choose my file and go find my file. And of course, uploading sometimes can take a little time. So be patient. And um, now it's uploaded. And I can see. Over here are all the pages to this PDF. And I have a lot of different things that I can do. First off, along the top, I can insert items like texts and images and links and white out things and draw freehand like sign a form and create form fields if I want to actually make a fillable form. I can annotate with sticky notes, underlines, rectangles, and I can highlight and I can strike out. So if I wanted to edit something and send it back to someone, and under pages, this is where I can delete, move, rotate pages. I can add, append, actually uh, combines two PDFs together, and I can crop pages and do all of these different things. So if I want to delete some of these pages, I can just click on here and then click on delete. Are you sure you want to delete this page? I can click yes. So I can um, continue this and uh, ooh, I clicked on something uh, ahead of time and just delete however many of these pages I want to delete. Now let's just take a look at some of the annotation tools that we have. So here's annotation tools. I can highlight things and really the highlighter is a square and I can pull it down so kids can fill things out here. I can also click on rectangle and I can click and drag and I can come up here and change my border and I can change my fill. So students can do their assignment by um, filling out or they can use the highlighter to uh, shade in areas. Under the um, insert Um, text uh, is actually tells people to insert text and I can type something and then people will see this little up carrot and be able to click on it and that will show but if I want to really type I'm going to use the insert text here and kids can put their names on here or whatever they want to do You'll also notice that you can right click on anything that you've done and delete that object or go to duplicate and some of these have properties under here if I want to make it bigger, smaller or some other things. So again I can just right click and delete and that object will be gone. Um, I can use the freehand tool here. And I can actually do some handwriting um, or just draw arrows or whatever I want with the freehand. And whiteout will actually, uh, is kind of like an eraser, but it's square. So if I just click and drag over something, it will white it out. Now again, I can right click on that and delete that object. When I'm done, I come over, I don't use the save. That means that I'm saving it up to the cloud. So really what I need to do is download. You can also print. So I'm going to download and I always download even before printing because this is a web based program and if I accidentally hit the refresh key or put my computer to sleep or something all of this would wipe out. So I want to make sure that I save it to my computer and that is actually the download. Save and download the PDF. And when I do this I want to make sure that I give it a different name from the original if I want to keep the original the way it was. Um, so that's up to you to decide if you want to save the edited one over the top or you want a whole new one and just click save and then you could upload that to anywhere you want, attach it to an email, it is a filled out PDF. 
So that helps you get started, I hope, with PDF Escape. You can insert, you can uh, annotate, you can delete pages, you can add to it by combining two PDFs together. And then when you're done, you want to click this green arrow. That's kind of the go key, the, the download, and it will save it to your computer. Um, just saving here saves it to the cloud. I don't even have an account, so that's not going to work very well. Um, so I hope that helped you get started with this program. It's a great little tool um, to work with students or even just personal things. <laughs>